Hello world, this is Random Fix. In my hand, I have the FX1000 by the Ansel. And in this video today, we're going to go ahead and test this out and make sure that it does what it's supposed to do, which is to erase check engine lights, be able to retrieve certain codes off uh, ABS and SRS systems. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in and see if everything is the way it's supposed to be. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to hook this up to your vehicle. So this right here is going to be the OBD2 connector and this works on any vehicle 1996 and newer and the nicest part about this is you could only put it in one way so there's no way of getting this wrong and you want to walk over to your vehicle pop open the driver's side door get underneath here and locate the OBD2 port which on my vehicle it's located right here and on your vehicle it might be a little bit further in and the colors sometimes are a little different. There's gray, purple, and they come in all different uh, styles. And sometimes there's even a cover, but it'll have a check engine light looking icon or it'll say OBD2. So go ahead and plug this in. And you know you did it correct once it has power. So I do have power on my unit. And before you start using it, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the vehicle ignition is on and the way you verify that is you turn the key all the way to where the check engine light turns on or if you have push button start you're going to go ahead and push that button until the actual check engine light is on and the motor is not running now we're able to go ahead and use this obd2 scanner to go ahead and retrieve certain information we have a couple of different options here. The first one is Diagnose. We have a general OBD2 section here. We have a settings section where you can actually enter. And the way you move around the screen is through using the arrows. And this is your enter key right here. And you're able to change languages, units. So you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can get rid of the beep. You can do an LCD test. A button test and you can also check records and to go back you're going to go ahead and hit the arrow back right here and now we're going to go ahead and go to the about section and the about section here tells you your serial number and other relevant information for your unit so now we're going to go ahead and go to diagnose you're going to hit enter and you choose the make and model of your vehicle one thing about the fx1000 is you have to load the software that's applicable to your particular vehicle make. So for my vehicle, I have Toyota and Lexus loaded on here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose Toyota. And what I can do is I can do an auto scan. I can select a system or I can do a, a history record. And I'm going to go ahead and select a system. And I'm going to go ahead and choose powertrain. And choose engine. I can read codes, clear codes, read data streams, active tests, and under active tests, these are the tests that I'm able to perform. And so on. I'm able to clear trouble codes, which we'll do a little bit later. And now I'm going to go to special function. I can check the readiness. I can check the mode, check the VIN number, and do an EVAP system check. And here's all the different modules you're able to access. So all in all, it looks like it's able to access about 26 different modules for this particular vehicle. Not all of them apply. And I'm going to go ahead and choose OBD2 now. OBD2 stands for Onboard Diagnostics. And it, this can be used with any vehicle for North America. Uh, 1996 and newer.
I'm going to choose Toyota and I'm going to go ahead and check the IM monitors on here. So here's my IM monitor or readiness monitor. This is a lot of times used for inspections and this is a great test to perform before you go ahead and uh, you buy a vehicle just to make sure you're actually getting a good vehicle. So I have DT, zero DTCs or diagnostic trouble codes stored. The check engine light is off. And it lets me know some of the different modules are actually supported here like the misfire monitor, the fuel system monitor, the CCM, which stands for comprehensive Com component uh, monitoring. And the uh, misfire monitor is ready and so is the fuel system monitor and you keep going further down the catalyst is supported it tells me that the evap is ready egr so you're looking for anything that's not ready that would be a good indication that maybe something's going on with the vehicle or somebody's gone ahead and reset the check engine light so let's go ahead and look at live data on this vehicle now so we're going to go ahead and go to read current data and we can go ahead and choose anything here and i'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle let's me know that my fuel system is in an open loop right now my load percentage since my vehicle is just warming up it's going to be a little bit higher gives me the coolant temperature short term fuel trim long term fuel trim the engine rpm as i give it gas you guys can see there's not much delay so now i'm going to go ahead and trigger a check engine light with this to make sure this can actually erase it and we'll also go ahead and make sure that this can access something a little bit more detailed such as an airbag light so we'll go ahead and throw off an airbag light as well so we went ahead and triggered a check engine light and as you guys know on a lot of the newer vehicles they have so much electronics on them that when a check engine light is triggered which is right here you'll oftentimes get other check errors on here too so my lane departure assist is not working anymore my pre-collision system is not working traction control is not working um, and this could be on for different components so a lot of different things happen here parking brake malfunction reduced engine power so it's kind of a, a limp mode uh, and we want to make sure that we can go ahead and erase this now all right so we're going to go ahead and erase this we're going to go ahead and read the current codes as you can see i got two codes here and it gives me a quick summary of possible errors and the reason for them turning on so I'm going to go hit back and I'm going to go and hit clear all the lights are on and we're going to hit yes so my check engine light is gone now but all those error codes are still there so if this happens to you Go ahead and turn the vehicle off. You can see some of the codes. You can see some of the other lights actually turned off here. And I still have a few other warning lights that need to clear up. So go ahead and cycle your vehicle on and off. And sometimes you may have to do this twice. So there it goes. It's all cleared up. And let's see if this can actually do the same thing for an airbag light now. All right, so I got a SRS airbag light system uh, error here, and now we're gonna go and retrieve that here on the scanner. And to do that, you wanna go back to the main menu here and go under diagnose, under the Toyota side. select the system now we're going to go to 
body and the first one on the menu is going to be the SRS airbag and we want to go ahead and read the current code so it lets me know that these are the two codes coming up and it looks like the same code so I'm going to go ahead and um, erase this now and there's the airbag light there's the code and there's the code there too let's see if we can actually clear this without having to turn off the car and we're gonna hit yes and it said it failed most of the times when you're actually doing this you want to go ahead and turn it off so this just might be an user error so let's see what happens let's read the code and there's no codes so let's turn the vehicle on so I think that was my bad you definitely want to turn off the vehicle when you are clearing a code like that it's not a simple check engine light so it did work so overall under 150 bucks definitely a cool scan tool it is manufacturer specific so make sure that you keep that in mind so if you own a Honda and Acura this would definitely suit your needs if you have a variety of different vehicles on here this is something you definitely want to pay a little bit more attention to to making sure that it's going to cover all your needs I hope you guys enjoyed the video Again, this is the FX1000. Hey guys, I just want to show you what this came with too. So this actually came with the scanner, the OBD2 cable here to connect this to your vehicle. It came with the micro USB here to connect the scan tool to your computer so you can go ahead and do the updates. It was a really uh, easy process and just required uh, my email address. And it came with the download guide and this nice hard case. So this keeps everything nice and protected and organized so there you guys have it the FX1000 was able to go ahead and delete a check engine light without any issues as well as the SRS light and if you're looking for a good scanner for your vehicle for under $150 I would definitely give it a look if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smash on that notification button as well have a fantastic day and you'll find all the links in the video box below to any other videos that could help you out thanks